What does a police state look like? Well, I suppose that uh, restriction of movement is, uh, is a pretty big indicator. Uh, restriction of travel, uh, restriction of seeing your friends and families, uh, restrictions on businesses, preventing businesses from opening or selling goods, preventing gathering, uh, restriction of assembly, restriction of protests. That's a big one. That's a, that's a pretty big indication that you are in a police state when... You're not even allowed to object to the oppression which is being forced upon you. Uh, as has just been touted by our very own Home Secretary, Pretty Patel, today, and listening to her on uh, talk radio, she says, We don't want people to protest. We would like people to follow the rules. I bet you would. Of course you would. You just... Isn't that exactly what governments and dictators and authoritarians and people who run police states want? They want everyone to follow the rules and they don't want people to protest. And obviously, I'm only protesting because I don't want to follow the rules. Morons. So, will police be enforcing uh, restrictions on protest gatherings? Asked the host. To which Pretty replied... Well, the gatherings are against the rules, and we expect police to enforce the rules. She tried not to say it, but the host pressured her, and so she eventually admitted that yes, police will be shutting down protests and gatherings. So, um, hey Britain, hey England, your right to peaceful assembly and protest against govern government tyranny has been rescinded. Do you think you'll get it back? Do you think there has ever been emergency measures that have been voted in to provide additional powers to a government or authority figure that has not ended in a totalitarian regime? I'm not aware of that ever happening. Uh, maybe if somebody knows, they can, you know, let me know. 500 and something MPs voted for this. They're not going to lose any pay, are they? They're not, you know, they drink in the uh, Parliament bar, they get their chauffeur-driven cars, the f wealthy ruling class. They're not, they're not really being locked down, are they? The rest of us, the proletariat, we are being locked down. I'm sitting outside Tesco's right now. I'm about to go in. I'm not going to wear a mask because I don't follow those rules. And I've been shopping without a mask several times before and I know how it feels. And it feels bad. It feels like you're doing something illegal, like at any moment a, a police officer or a vengeful shop assistant might jump out of some stack of beans and um, confront you. And I would imagine it's a very similar feeling to how a, a Muslim woman would feel if she went to a, a Muslim area without wearing a hijab. Or maybe it's very similar to how uh, the Jewish people felt in Nazi Germany when they uh, walked around wearing their gold stars. It's a sort of a pervasive, subtle feeling of judgment or persecution or wrongdoing. Because I'm not covering my face for a virus which is not dangerous. But that's the way it is. But I can't wear a mask because... Somebody has to resist this. Somebody has to stand up for this. And if not me, then who else? It doesn't seem like anyone else. Bad luck on your election, America. 
Sorry to hear it.